Hi, it's Sean, the Fluency Awesomizer. I'm here today with two reading exercises. We're going to practice decoding multisyllabic words. We're reading big words. We're going to practice reading big words. I've got two rounds for you. We should be about five or six minutes. That's it. So let's get started. I'm going to show you this word, and I'd like you to read it right out loud. All right, you ready? Now, did you say interested? All right, if you said interstate, that's great. The top word is interstate. There's a chance you could have thought or said interested because these words are very similar and it's worth comparing them to help, with, to help improve your reading and also maybe to carry around a couple of things to help you spell both of these words when you need them. Uh, the reason they're similar, if you look in the middle, there's an R controlled sound, er, not just an R, but er, and an ST in the middle. And at the end of these words, there's a T or a D. Now the T and D are green because a lot of times when a word ends with ED, the D makes a T sound. So that could be one reason. If you said interested, uh, you, you could have thought about that T turning into a D. Um, especially because a long word like interstate, you pay a lot of attention to the beginning and the middle, and young readers tend to kind of maybe not make it to the finish line and kind of fill in the blank towards the end. Uh, it, down below, there's an E between the R and the ST, so you can see the word rest. Up top, the end of interstate, you can see I made it green, it looks like eight. So there's the word state. And down below, interested does have an ed ending, and you actually pronounce the ed, interest ed. We take a look at the root words. Uh, interstate, the root word is state. And if you put the prefix inter in front of state, the word interstate is a big highway uh, that runs between states. That's what inter means when you put inter in front of a word, it means between or among. Now, interested, uh, you put the suffix ed on the end of interest, and you've got interested, which I uh, usually use as an adjective, and we all know what interested means. Now, take a moment here and look at the syllables. Interstate is a three syllable word, interested is a four syllable word, but some you could probably get away. I'm sure you pronounce it with three syllables, interested. That's what make it, makes it hard to spell. So you need to know that interested is a four syllable word, not interested, three syllables. All right, setting these words aside, I've got a three sentence phrase here for you to read. I want you to hit pause, give yourself plenty of time. Uh, it's gonna be some extra practice with some of these letter combinations, all right? Hit pause, I've got one more exercise coming up next. All right, here's the second round. Just like before, I'm about to show you a word. I want you to read it right out loud, okay? Here it is. All right, did you say <clears throat> permanent? The top word is prominent. The bottom word is permanent. There's a chance you said permanent when you read prominent, and there's a reason why. Let's take a look. If you read prominent, that's great. We're going to compare both of these words. Uh, there's a P, R, and M in the beginning of both of these words. All right. But down below, permanent has an R controlled sound. There's an E before that R. So you can see the syllable or even the word perm. Up top, there's an O after the R. The P and the R are together to spell or to sound out pr. And we fill it in with an O, pra, a short O is this. I like to remember short O by thinking of um, what's, what does a doctor ask you to do? The first, one of the first things you do when you go to the doctor's office is open up and say, ah. So here's the letter O, and that's just a reminder that a short O says, ah, just like at the doctor's. So there's prom, and down below is perm. Big difference, that R can reverse. It's very easy for young readers to reverse that R. And that's really the only difference in these two words. Everything else is pretty much the same. They're both three syllable words. 
And that middle syllable, min or man, you don't say permanent. Everyone pronounces it permanent. So it sounds like min, right, up top and prominent. All right, setting aside these words, I've got a sentence here. I want you to take your time. Go ahead and hit pause. And that's going to do it for today. Ready? All right, be sure to check me out again tomorrow. I'm going to post another video, unless it's the weekend. I'll, I'll put it up on uh, Monday. And uh, be sure to like or follow my Facebook page. And uh, I'm on YouTube at The Fluency Awesomizer. See you next time.